Guys, Professor David here, I got another video for you today. Guys, do you know when to attack? To another level. See, that's a real question. Because I've been in many a martial arts schools, many a martial arts school through the years, and I've never went into a school and heard the instructor teaching a class, teaching a class on when to attack. I see them telling their students what to do from an attack, but I never, ever heard the instructor say, this is a class on when to attack. Now you have that class. Kenny, come on in here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. How many times have you seen this? In a bar, nightclub, road rage, okay? Something happens, bam! Guy gets out and you get out of your car, you're in a bar, in a restaurant, whatever. Okay, but so the far. person's from a distance. And you and this guy no, are man, what, You know you cut me off, man. What's your problem, man? Huh? Yo, man, well, I, I don't know what you're talking about, no, man. man. You don't damn well what you're talking now, about, man. Now, stop here for a second. Right here, you see this argument. It's going back and forth from a distance. And what happens is one of the two people make the mistake of coming into the three-foot rule. Usually, it's the aggressor that comes into the three-foot rule. Why? Because the weaker person will never put their self in harm's way. The less confident person will never put their self in harm's way. So they will never go into the three-foot rule. That is like a chicken walking outside the chicken coop when he knows there's a fox out there. He wouldn't do it. He stays where it's safe. So therefore, the guy who don't want no problem, the guy most of the time who's less skilled, the guy most of the time who knows he's not a fighter, and here comes this crazy guy who's crazy, what? What? Say, now what? breaks the three foot rule. Say something, say what? So now you're here. Now you're here. Let me ask you a question. You rather deal with this? I want to now think about attacking him from here? Wouldn't it have made more sense? Because if somebody taught me when to attack and what the signs to look out for, that while I'm having this verbal combat, I got no problems. I got no problems. Now I see him coming. Would it have made more sense to learn when you see the man breaking, coming towards you to break the three foot rule, attack him while he's boom, walking into you? And don't show no signs of it. Use the element of surprise. Right? But no, I was never taught that. No one teaches that. Okay? So now, what happens is this. Now the man is inside the three foot rule. How do you know when he comes up here, he's going to stop here? What's the guarantee on that? Kenny, what's the guarantee that the boss is going to stop no here? guarantee on that. Okay? You can just come up there and you can just knock The guy can just up. come right up to you like what? this. Bam! And then punch you right in your face. Now you got to deal with that. You see, that's real, because you can't read his mind. So you don't know he's not just going to walk up and just blast you when he walks, boom, when he walks up. And now you're trying to deal. He's not going to hook punch. He's not going to grab. He's going to power jab you using his power hand whoop, right in your face. Do you know how hard that is to defend against? And especially... After he punched you in the face. Now a guy he's used to getting punched in the face. Might take the punch. To the face. Boom. And then put his hands up and come back. But a person who's not used to getting punched in the face. Now all your confidence. Went right through the. Right out the door. Now you're thinking oh my god what happened. And this guy's just going to rain on you. So how can you do that? How can you trust that? How can you trust that? You can't. So you have to know when to attack. Now, if you made the mistake and you're here, like this, once again, when do you attack? 
How many times have you seen this? Yeah, yeah, go ahead, man. So yeah, go ahead. Pursue, what you going to do? Yo, what man, you going to do? Just go. Just go. go. Yeah. I don't see what? you doing what? nothing. I don't see you. How many times have you seen that? What are you waiting for? You have to know. Sooner or later, one of you's got to go. Why are you going to wait for it to be him? Now it's no longer self-defense. You see? Because you think it's self-defense. Because you're thinking in your mind, in your school where you practice, tells you after he punched you in the face, now you jump into your position, so he throws that hook punch, and now you go into your technique. Oh, but it ain't going to work like that. You see, because what the school don't teach you, and the school don't tell you, is that that punch to the face, that crap hurts. And then the other punch in the face hurts more than the first punch to the face. See, but we ain't told that. We're just saying, go into self-defense. No, self-defense is when you are being threatened. Self-defense is when you feel uncomfortable. Self-defense is when you know the person is going to hurt you and you have to stop them from hurting you before they hurt you. What is the difference? What is the difference? Between Kenny walking up and punching me in the face or Kenny walking up and stabbing me right in my chest. What's the difference? I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait for the stab in the chest or the stab in the heart and then say, pull the knife out, throw it to the ground and get it on. Who the hell are you, gladiator? You gladiator? You a Spartan? You gonna pull the weapon out? And then go into action? You a fool. A dead fool. I ain't never letting that happen. So you gotta understand when to attack. So when he's talking in your face so like this. What? What's your problem? Headbutt while he's talking. He's talking in your face like that? What? Yo, what? Yo, what? Yo, I said what? that what? Show what? him your hands. Boom, put your hands, I'll punch him in the groin. Okay, you gotta know when to attack. I'm not, I'm gonna talk. I am going to attack him while he's talking. Even if he's doing this and doing that, right here, I'm gonna, when he put his hand up and down, I'm gonna attack him right there. So as soon as he got, bam, I'm gonna, boom, put the hand, I'm going to put the hand in my face, I'm gonna shove the hand in his face, shock him in his groin, Hit him in his face, hold on to that hand, work and manipulate and break it down. I'm going to attack him while he's doing these kinds of motion. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Go ahead. And especially the knuckleheads that do this. That do this chest to chest nonsense. When do you attack him? Most guys do this. And I say, you want to back up off me, man. That's what they do. If I'm gonna attack it and I made a decision to fight, why the hell am I gonna separate to give him another opportunity to get his stuff together? Why would I wanna do that, Kenny? Makes no sense. Makes no sense. Doesn't it make more sense than when we're like this and we're doing this? And bam, to, to do this? What? To just attack you? While we're doing chest to chest? It makes more sense than while we're doing chest to chest. I take my hand, stick it in your eye, stick it in your eye, shove it across your throat, and start to take you down. That makes more sense than separating. But you know, the separating is more ego. The separating looks good because you got your girl, yeah. You know, what, 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 what? Let's go, let's go. Come on, put your hands up. You see, that looks good. That looks good. But you might be on the wrong side of that video that somebody's taking. You might be on the wrong side of that world star video. You might be the guy getting your behind kick. You may not be the victor, okay? You might be the victim. So if you thinking, well, watch, watch this. I see somebody with a camera. Watch what I do. Watch what I do. Who knows? It may not work out that good for you. You have to know when to attack. 
And the only way you understand when to attack, if you practice what we practice, which is self-offense and not self-defense. I am always looking for the window of opportunity. You see, because the window of opportunity closes and opens, closes and opens, closes and opens. And when it opens, then the guy's talking, What's and I'm problem? here, What's your problem, man? Huh? and he's doing huh? this to me, what? and he lets me do this, the window of opportunity just opened. It just opened. Because you didn't care that I did this. You didn't care. I said, yo, dude, yo, man, money, calm down. Yo, bro, calm down. I ain't got no beef with you, man. So the window of opportunity, boom, 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 opens. Right there. Because he's keeping talking while I'm going. He's talking. No, what, what you talking? Well, I'm going, yo, man, calm down. Yo, my man, calm down, my man. I'm going to kick your ass. So all he's doing is talking. There's my window of opportunity. Why am I going to say, say that I kick your ass thing again? I'll kick your ass, man. What? what? Well, go ahead and kick my ass. Go ahead. Let me see you kick my ass. Let me see you kick. Why would I want to do that? And that's the crap that you see in the street. And people give up the element of surprise and they give up the window of opportunity. Mm -hmm. And then they end up giving up their life. And they end up giving freedom. up a whole lot more. So guys, understand, you have to know how and when to attack. It's a practice. It's a practice. You gotta practice verbal. You gotta practice hand gestures. You gotta practice your positioning. My man, listen. I just said, yo, dude, I'm gonna walk away because I ain't got no problem. Tell him, I ain't got no beef with you, man. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna walk away. See, now when you're doing this, you're positioning yourself off the line of fire. So now you can't punch me in the face. Yo, right. dude, I ain't got no problem with you. I'm gonna walk away from you, man. I said, I'm sorry, like this. So now, if he's gonna attack me, or he wants to attack me, either he's gonna throw that hook punch from there, which is no, or he's gonna re or he's gonna readjust. And once he readjusts, I know what's coming. I'm gonna attack him. But as soon as he readjusts, I can move faster forward than he can move backward. You see, guys, this is all the things. It's a practice. It is a practice of knowing when to attack. I've never seen it. Have you? Okay? Right now, I want you to attack with all your might that button that says subscribe and share. Can you tell them? You know what, guys? Like, comments. Please, guys, share it right now. Subscribe to our channel, guys, if you like this video. If you found this video helpful, if you found it valuable, right now, go and hit that subscribe button, guys. We'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace. To another level.